What's up guys? Let's unbox the Xiaomi Redmi Note 6 Pro, the latest in the Note series device and check out its glass resistance and structural strength. Apart from the notch, the metallic design and looks of the Redmi Note 6 Pro isn't much different from the Redmi Note 5 Pro but it has been given a few upgrades. In fact, the look and size of the notch is very similar to that of the Poco F1, making the display look almost same. The biggest upgrade will be the fully AI-assisted cameras which also works in portrait mode, making for better picture quality. Besides that, the massive 4000mAh battery now supports Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0 mostly found in Xiaomi's Mi lineup or on other costlier devices. And this time, different color options like red, rose gold and blue are being sold from the first sale itself. There is a slight weight to it at 182 grams due to the aluminium midframe and huge battery but it does make me a bit nervous since the Redmi Note 5 Pro in its bent test had suffered from kinks near the power keys. Performance wise, the slightly older but proven and battery efficient Snapdragon 636 processor had no issues in general operations and running apps. And coupled with the Adreno 509 GPU, heavy gaming is a breeze even at high graphics settings. It is generally a lag free experience and MIUI 10 makes sure you get excellent battery life. The camera quality is definitely the main USP of the Note 6 Pro, especially impressive in its dynamic range. The color saturation is on point, close to natural colors, even with the AI mode on and this is where the Poco phones sometimes tend to enhance a bit too much. The detail levels in the shadows and the bright areas are well balanced due to the impressive dynamic range, making for correctly exposed pictures. In this difficult scene with the sun right in front, the Redmi Note 6 Pro managed to get the most details out of the shadows. This is definitely the best camera in the 14K budget price segment. Starting with the scratch test, let's find out and prove the quality of this corning glass protection you're paying for by rubbing it with keys and coins commonly found in pockets and then with a heavy duty box cutter. High quality glasses like these may get minor marks due to the keys and coins but do survive the blade abuse with ease. Whereas poor quality glasses found on devices like the Realme series or the recently tested Vivo V9 Pro are not able to survive the blades with ugly scuff marks. The 2.5D glass production proves its quality by passing the test and easily survives the blade with no damage whatsoever. Now moving on to fun stuff, let's find out the structural integrity of the Note 6 Pro in the bend test. Will it be able to survive tight pockets or other accidental force? The structure of the Note 6 Pro does flex to a degree and stays bent but unlike the Note 5 Pro, it does not suffer any damage or kinks near the power keys and passes my bent test. 